Welcome back to What RT Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the M12, the Tier 7 American SPG. It's located on the south spawn of Ghost Town and it's under the commands of Angelina 75. Now she's had a particularly good uh, record on Ghost Town. She's actually had some pretty good games here and some uh, record breaking, well record breaking games but with medal winning games. Well, she's got the Tier 7 American SPG with the 155mm gun. It's capable of doing 700 alpha, penetrating 39mm of armour and with a burst radius of 76 meters. But unfortunately, you only get 20 rounds of ammunition, whereas you get 30 if you're in the S-51. I think that's a kind of a, you know, Russian uh, bias there. Yes, I don't mind saying so. It's a Russian, well, it's not a Russian, but barely a Russian... Uh, company, uh, but it was founded in Moscow, and that's where they actually did uh, most of their early work. And they do tend to give a bias to uh, Russian equipment, and I'm afraid they have done so in this case because uh, the S51 does get more rounds, whereas this thing only gets 20 rounds. You can run out of ammunition with the M12. First target, 40 TP, rounds out, lands right in front of him for 183, tracks him. He's stuck there. He's fixed his kit, but it's too late. The Hummel got around in just afterwards, and that killed the 40 TP. So Angelina not only got the 183 hit points from the actual shot, but she also picked up some stun assist as well. Changing her position. It's a nice flat area around here where you can shoot in cover. Trouble is the enemy knows about this area very, very well because obviously they've played it themselves. And when enemy lights and tank destroyers get into this area, it can be very deadly. Rounds out the Super Hellcat who moves away. But oh my god, that's a penetrating round right into the side. 785 hit points. That's a high roll. And she's all but wiped him out. One more shot and he's gone. A shell only needs to cough on him and he'll die. Yeah, there's the Hummel. <laughs> He's done it again. So that's two kills for the Hummel now. T-71 CMC D tier 7 American Light sitting up there on the west side of the map. Angelina fires around him where he was, but he moves too quickly and he dodges that shell. It's very difficult shooting over a ridge line like that as well. There's a good chance you'll hit the ridge line rather than the target, but he has been stunned there. She's almost ready to go. She's following the target, watching where he's going, trying to figure out what his behavior is and where he keeps moving back to. He's headed back, rounds out. Yes, bang on target, and she's got another penetrating shot on him. 641 on this one. It's a low roll penetrating shot and I think one of those shots was from the Hummel trying to finish him off doing a bit of kill stealing. Meanwhile in the town Angelina spotted a Jackson. She was looking at her mini map. She saw this little Jackson which is basically an M10 with a 90mm turret on it and he's gone. He was killed by this, our Super Hellcat but this T71 CMCD he's asking to be put out of the game. And he's now been joined by a Firefly 5C. It landed just a little behind him. She didn't give enough lead on this time. But that was the shot, I think, from the Hummel. And it did hit the uh, Firefly. She's following that CMCD around. It's around 22, 21, 22 seconds on the reload. She's got 21 seconds. Oh, she got him this time. She got him. Right into his side. He stayed still for a moment. And he, he went. She got the shell right in there. And the enemy is now losing quite badly on the west side of the map. In fact, our AMX 1375 is moving up. So is the Cromwell. And that means that we could be near their enemy cap period very shortly. The enemy's not going to like that. We're also moving up on the east side of the map as well. It's only in the town that they're being held. And they're now starting to lose there as well. They're four tanks behind. And Angelina's decided she's going to go up on top of the hill to shoot from there. And the enemy RT's been spotted. It's the M44. 
she's scrolling the map the aim out she doesn't need to do that if she uses the right click on the mini map where she wants to go she'll get there straight away she won't have to worry about uh, um, scrolling at all go for the m12 scroll for short things use the mini map to go long and she got the air near the M12, but the guy was moving fairly quickly. And there is the M44 finishing off. And that was Wiwat. He's a Watati Nib member. He just killed the M12 with his M44. I didn't realize that that was Wiwat behind us. Yes, it is. There he is. Yes, he's a famous... Uh, um, he, he streams on Twitch TV. He's got his own YouTube channel. And he's also an excellent arty player as well. Some fantastic clips he's put up recently showing some pretty amazing shots that he's fired where he's just wiped somebody out at very long range with an RT shell. Going for the RL V39, lining up the shot, working out the lead, rounds out, bit late I think, but oh no, he was on target! It tracked him as well. He's tracked, he's stationary. Now, will we what hit him? Yes, that was the shot from we what I think. And the kill shot goes to the Super Hellcat. There's only two enemy left. The T25-2 is here. And, oh, unfortunately, our Cromwell decided to ram him. And that was a bad move. But, oh my god, Angelina's done it again. She's hit the T25-2, wiped him out. And there goes the Super Hellcat to finish the game with a victory. Lovely shot right into the rear of the T25-2. And she's claimed her another kill. Two kills for Angelina. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Well, only a third class tanker for Angelina 75. But look at this. She not only got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. She got nine. She got the high caliber. She dealt the most damage in that game overall. And her win eight from the battle was 4,001. Super Unicum standard. Let's have a look at team score. There you go, top of the table, 2,380 hit points of damage to Angelina. She picks up the high caliber. And the next highest scorer was, in fact, the Super Hellcat on the enemy team, 1638. And then their T25-2 with 1625. And following the, that, the M6 with 1618. So three good players on the enemy team. But just about everybody on Angelina's team was very, very good as well. So let's have a look at the uh, number of kills. Well, the highest number of kills went to the Hellcat and the Hummel. Yeah, that guy was on fire. He was certainly picking up a lot of kills after Angelina stripped them of their hit points. Two kills went to Angelina, the Hellcat, and also to the T25-2 and the M44 and the enemy team. And when it came to base XP, it was the Sherman Jumbo with 737. Angelina managed to get 735. And then the AMX-1375 picked up 697. If we look at the detail report, Nine shots fired, five direct hits, two penetration, four splash. Damage of 2,380 hit points, all of it at more than 300 meters. She damaged five of the enemy, killed two, and did 117 hit points of stun assist off four stuns. She earned 34,565 credits from the game and got 50,000 credits for completing the mission and events. So her total came to 84,565 credits. And after ammunition resupply, took away 74,485 credits in profit. That's a very good profit for a tier seven RT. She also got 25 bonds, so she must have completed some mission. And 1,102 XP times two for the first victory, took away 2,205 experience points altogether. So Angelina 75 does seem to have a lot of luck on Ghost Town. It seems to be a map that really agrees with her and she's getting great results. So very nice shooting, very well done and congratulations on the high caliber if you enjoyed that replay please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching